I hope you all are doing great. Welcome back to our channel Agla Same Schools. Today in this video I will be covering chapter 12 of class 5 maths that is smart charts. So let's discuss question and answers. Now turn to page number 159. Chi chi meow meow. Yamini did a project called animals and birds. She asked each child of a class about one favorite pet animal. She used tally marks to record each answer. For example, if someone said cat, she means five cats. In all, twenty-four children said cat was their favorite animal. Help Yamini complete the table. Here, question number one says, look at the tally mark and write the number of each animal in the table. How many children in all did Yamini talk to? Answer is Yamini talked to one thirty-one children. For the B part says, which is the most favorite pet animal in this table? So the answer is dogs are the most favorite animal in this table. For the third part says, which pet will you like to have? What will you name it? Which other animals can be kept at home? Answer is, I would like to have a dog as a pet. I will name it Tiger. We can also keep cats and parrots as pets if we live in cities. and we can keep cows and goats also if we live in village now turn to page number 160 making tally marks on the road sumita stood on the road for half an hour and counted the number of vehicles passing by she made a tally mark for each vehicle this helped her in counting the total number of vehicles in each group here question number 1 says write the number of each vehicle in the table answer is Number of cycle we have twenty eight. Second number of car we have twelve. Number of auto rickshaw we have eighteen. The number of bus we have fifteen. Number of cycle rickshaw we have twenty four. And number of truck we have six. So total is one hundred three. Further, B part says how many vehicle in all did Sumita see on the road in half an hour? Answer is Sumita saw one hundred three vehicles in half an hour. For the third part says auto rickshaws are thrice the number of truck. True or false? Answer is false. Now turn to page number one sixty one. Try yourself. Question number one says take a round in your colony. Find out how many types of trees you can see there. Do you know their names? You can make drawings. Use tally marks to note the number of different trees. Answer is I found many types of trees. I know their names. These are neem, peepul, babul, tamarind, mango, guava, banyan. Tally marks of these trees are given in the table, and the table is here. Number of neem tree we have twenty four. Number of peepul tree we have thirty two. Number of babul trees we have ten. Number of tamarind tree we have twenty two. Number of mango tree we have eight. A number of guava tree we have twenty, whereas number of banyan tree we have fifteen. So total number of trees are one thirty one. Now turn to page number one sixty two. Helping hands. Here question number one says, in the previous period, the teacher asked children whether they helped their parents at home. There was different answers. Children named the work in which they helped their parents the most. The teacher collected their answers and made a table. So here is the table in front of your screen. In this there are two columns. First column says help most in the housework and second column describe the number of children. So going to the market, number of children were 47, washing utensils, number of children were 15, washing clothes, number of children were 3, making food, number of children were 25, cleaning the house Number of children were ten. So total children who said they helped their parents are hundred. Now you can fill the chapati chart to show the number given in the table. So guys, this you can do it yourself. Now turn to page number one sixty three. Look and find out. Question number one says children who help in making or serving food. Part one says one third of the total children. Part B says half of the total children. Part three says. One fourth of the total children. Answer is C. That is one fourth of the total children. Further, second question says 
practice time after school ask 10 of your friends about what they like to do most after school so here is a table in front of your screen here it is divided into two parts first column describe what they like to do after school and second part describes number of children so after school most of the children prefer to watch tv and there are number of children too second playing football number of children are three for the reading story books number of children are two cycling number of children are one playing indoor games number of children are only one doing homework again number of children are one now turn to page number 164 ragini loves to watch cartoons on televisions one day she thought of counting the number of ads during the breaks she found that in each break there was 14 advertisements in 10 of those ads there were children as actors question number 1 says why do you think that children are used in so many ads answer is children are used in so many ads because cartoons are mostly watched by children for the question number 2 says use tally marks to count the number of ads during the short breaks in program were there ads during the news program answer is tally marks used to count the number of ads can be as follow assuming that 14 ads in a break yes during news programs also there are ads now try yourself next time when you watch your favorite tv program count the number of advertisements during each break Use tally marks. Put a dot below the tally mark when you find children in any advertisement. Question number one says, compare with your friend. Do you get different answers? Answer is. So here is a picture in front of your screen. It describes three column. First column describes break. Second column describes tally mark, and third column describes number of advertisement. First, there are twelve advertisement. Second. There are thirteen advertisement. Third, there are thirteen advertisement. Fourth, there are thirteen advertisement. When I compare my chart with my friend's chart, I found a difference. The other friend was not watching the same program. Now, turn the page number one sixty five. Hot and cold. Have you ever seen the weather report on TV or in a newspaper? These are two bar charts. These show the different temperature that is in Celsius. in four different countries on two different days the cities are delhi shimla bangalore and jaisalmer so guys you can see the bar graph in your book now find out from the bar graph question number 1 says which city is the hottest on 1st june answer is jaisalmer second which city is the coldest on 1st december answer is shimla third which city shows little change in temperature on the two days 1st june and 1st december answer is bangalore because lowest change is 28 minus 24 that is 4 degree celsius now try yourself on any one day choose any three cities and record their temperature from the tv or newspaper question number 1 says make a bar chart for you notebook and ask your friends a few questions about it see if they understand your chart answer is let us show the highest temperature in degree celsius in three cities that is in delhi bangalore and sikkim so here is a bar graph in front of your screen now answer these question number 1 says which city is the hottest on 10th of april answer is delhi second which city is the coldest on 10th of april answer is sikkim third What is the difference in temperature in Bangalore and Sikkim on 10th of April? Answer is 10 degree Celsius. Since my friends have answered correctly, so they have understood the chart. Now turn to page number 166. Rabbits in Australia. Earlier there were no rabbits in Australia. Rabbits were brought to Australia around the year 1780. At that time there were no animal in Australia which are rabbits. So the rabbits began to multiply at a very fast rate. Imagine what they did to the crops. So this table shows that how rapid grows every year. Here time is given and the number of rabbits are given. So in starting there were 10 rabbits. After one year there were 18 rabbits. 
second year 32 rabbits third year 58 rabbits and in fourth year 105 rabbits here question number 1 says after each year the number of rabbits was part 1 says a little less than double the number of rabbits in the last year b double the number in last year 3 eight more than the number in the last year d more than double the number of rabbits in the last year answer is a that is a little less than double the number of rabbits in the last year for the question number 2 says at the end of year 6 the number of rabbits was close to 400 600 or 800 answer is 400 for the third part says after which year did the number of rabbits cross 1000 answer is after 1788 now turn to page number 167 family tree Mother went to a wedding along with his parents. He met many relatives there, but he did not know anyone. He met his mother's grandfather, but found that her grandmother is not alive. He also found that her dadi's mother, that is grandmother's mother, is still alive and more than a hundred year old. Mother got confused. He could not imagine his mother's grandmother's mother, so Madhav's mother made a family tree for him. Madhav's mother helped him understand his family with the help of his drawing. You can also find about your older generation using such a family tree. Here question number 1 says how many grandparents in all does Shobhna have? Answer is 4. Second, how many great great grandparents in all does Madhav have? Answer is 8. Third, how many elders will be in Seventh generation of his family. Answer is thirty-two. Fourth, if he takes his family tree forward, in which generation will he find one twenty-eight elders? Answer is eighth generation. That is thirty-two into two. That will give you sixty-four. And in eleventh generation, sixty-four into two. That will give you one twenty-eight. Now turn to page number one sixty-eight. Growth chart of a plant. Here question number one says. Amit sowed a few seeds of moong dal in the ground. The height of the plant grew to 1.4 cm in the first 4 days. After that, it started growing faster. Amit measured the height of a plant after every 4 days and put a dot on the chart. For example, if you look at the dot mark on the 4th day, you can see on the left side scale that it is 1.4 cm high. So the answer is There is a chart in front of your screen, and it is divided into two parts. First day, and second part is length of the plant. Day zero, there was no plant. Day fourth, the plant height was one point four. On eighth day, the plant height was five point three. On twelfth day, the plant height was nine point five. On sixteenth day, the plant height was ten point two. On twentieth day, the plant height was ten point nine. For the question number two says, now look at the height of each dot in centimeter and check from the table if he had marked the dots correctly. Answer is yes, he has marked dot correctly. Now find out from the growth chart. First part says between which days did the length of the plant change the most? Options are from zero to four, four to eight, eight to twelve, twelve to sixteen, sixteen to twenty. Answer is third. That is eight to twelve. For the B part says, what could be the length of this plant on the fourteenth day? Guess. First is eight point seven centimeter. Second, nine point nine centimeter. Third, ten point two centimeter. Fourth, ten point five centimeter. So the answer is second. That is nine point nine centimeter. For the C part says, will the plant keep growing all the time? What will be its length on the hundredth day? Make a guess. Answer is no. I think its length would be about seventeen to eighteen centimeter on the eighth day. So, guys, I have covered all the question of this chapter in this video. I hope you like this video. And if you have any query or any doubt related to any of the question discussed, please put your query in the comment section below. For more such NCERT solutions. Keep watching and do not forget to subscribe our channel Agla Sen Schools and do not forget to wear mask and take good care of your health